and welcome to Homestead Corner. I'm Jenny and today we're going to whip up a super budget friendly, simple pantry dessert, cherry ice cream pie. So we are always looking for recipes and trying things to see what works with foods that are in our pantry. And we don't do a lot of dessert recipes here on the channel, but I really like desserts. And this one is super simple. It's a no bake and we're just gonna whip it up really fast. So simple and easy with a few things from the pantry and a couple things from the refrigerator that most people have kicking around. So we're gonna use just one package of the, just one of the individual packs in there of the graham crackers, a stick of butter from the refrigerator. I'm also gonna use some cherry pie filling, a 15 ounce can, a can of sweetened condensed milk, and a little bit of whipped cream. You can use Cool Whip for this. If you have it in the freezer, you can thaw it out, use that, or you can take your heavy cream and whip up some homemade whipped cream, which is also delicious, and I love that, but I don't have any heavy whipping cream at the moment, so this is what we're gonna use. So let's jump in and get started. So this is one of those really simple recipes. It comes together really fast. We're just gonna freeze it. That's the most time here. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our stick of butter and I'm gonna pop it in a pan and throw it on the stove and melt that down. I want this melted because we're gonna make a graham cracker crust real quick. Um, you can also do this in the microwave, just stick it in a bowl and I don't know how long because I don't use a microwave, but um, just get that butter melted. And put that right on the burner and then we are also going to take our um, graham crackers and any graham crackers work the cinnamon ones are actually really good in this as well um, whatever you have on hand if you don't have graham crackers you could probably use some Oreo cookies or something like that um, the vanilla Oreos or regular whatever you have on hand if you want to um, use that so we love to just grab what's in the pantry and see what we can do with it. And a lot of times you can use stuff to switch it out. And I'm just taking one package of these and I'm just crushing them up with my hands right in the package. If you start pounding the bag on the counter, uh, they blow open. I made huge messes with that. So this is the easiest way I found to crush these up. Just stop with one end and there it goes. Comes right out. All right. Okay, once your butter is all melted, we're gonna add it right to the graham crackers. Some people like to add a little bit of sugar to their graham crackers for a crust, but I think this pie is quite sweet enough. So I'm not gonna add any sugar. You could add a couple tablespoons if you wanted to. That would work. We're just gonna mix this up with this butter. I'm gonna get everything as coated as possible. And I'm gonna use a just a standard pie pan, just, I don't know what size that is, but I think it's eight, nine inches, something. I don't know, regular pie pan. We have some big, giant, deep dish ones, but just a regular pie pan works for this. Okay, once we've got all of the graham crackers coated in butter, we're just gonna pour them right into our pie plate which is simple and easy. And I am just gonna flatten this out the best I can and try and bring it up on the sides a little, just so there's a little crust there. You know, just like those pie crusts you buy at the store. If you've got those handy, you could use that also, those pre-made pie crusts, but I don't normally buy those because this is just so simple to make and much cheaper to do it yourself stick of butter and graham crackers. Simple and easy and delicious. All right, so once we've got our pie crust in there how we want it, and you could definitely break this up a little bit more, but I'm okay with a rustic chunky food. We're gonna take this and set it aside while we make our filling. In this heat, I am so thankful that we do not have to run the oven. Oh my goodness, this weather is crazy. So I'm gonna put a 
can, a 15 ounce can of the cherry pie filling. You can use any brand. This is from the Dollar Tree. This is what they have and this one is actually quite delicious. And I do not add any sugar to this recipe at all because it's plenty sweet enough. I'll tell you, this all this stuff is nice and sweet, so no sense to add anything like sugar. Um, you could if you wanted to, if it's not sweet enough for you. But and then we're going to add one can of sweetened condensed milk of just a 14 ounce can. We're going to pour that right into our cherry filling. All right, once we got all of that out, we're just going to give this a little mix. Get this all mixed together. You don't have to go too crazy. We're going to mix again. But the whipped cream, I don't like to mix it too much once I put that whipped cream in. So you, I'm going to use just a can of whipped cream because I had it in the fridge. But um, you could use Cool Whip, um, any kind of whipped cream, homemade whipped uh, whipped cream whatever you have really I'm just using this because it's affordable and I have it on hand and then we're gonna add I don't know a cup and a half probably about of whipped cream there we go well, maybe two cups I just put it right in there <laughs> you can use a little less or a little more however you like it we're just gonna fold this whipped cream in and this is going to make it so creamy with that sweetened condensed milk. This makes such a nice textured ice cream. And you could literally put this in a bowl and freeze it and just have cherry ice cream. But this is great in a pie as well. So we make the little crust and just get it all mixed together. So once we've got that all mixed in... Okay, so once that's all mixed in, we're going to bring our crust back. And we're just going to pour this right in there. And we're going to fill this little bad boy right up. So simple and easy. This I love these pantry recipes. They're so affordable. And you have everything on hand, so you might as well use it. Because it is delicious. And we don't really do a lot of dessert recipes on this channel we're more concerned about other things but it is nice to have a simple dessert that you can throw together in minutes this literally just takes minutes so I just like to even out my top like so and we're gonna take this and throw it in the freezer for I don't know three four hours and uh, we want this to freeze right through so we're gonna pop this right into the freezer and that's it really this is the easiest pie to make it is so simple um once it's all frozen it is ready to eat you could dress it up and serve it all whipped creamy on top maybe some sprinkles or i like to put a little whipped cream on mine not everybody likes that here though so that is okay it's nice and frozen solid so we have got a little bit of ice cream I'm just gonna have a little piece so I don't overdo it because you know it's easy to overdo it on this stuff these are yummy look at this beautiful little ice cream yummy and this is so yummy and no one will ever know it came out of your pantry mmm this has such a yummy creamy texture it's just so delicious and so simple and easy to put together you have most of the stuff right in the pantry and you probably have the refrigerator ingredients also it's pretty basic and that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you next time bye